I think that he is doing um, what you would expect a cop on the beat to do. Um, and, you know, the term aggressive is, is, is somewhat loaded. I mean, um, this is this is what the SEC does. Um, this is how the SEC has has gone after um, participants in the financial services marketplace or in financial markets uh, you know, for decades. Um, so, you know, by bringing the, 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 the biggest problem, you know, that I, that I see is, um, you know, people use this term regulation by enforcement. Um, uh, and, you know, that's a sort of a shock worn criticism of, 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 of the way the SEC um, um, executes its mandate. Um, but that, you know, the SEC has done that for, for decades. Um, and, and so, uh, the people in the crypto space, um, you know, just would not have realized it. <laughs> That's how the SEC operates. Hey, hey, everybody. It's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. And who you just heard was the former SEC manager of policy. He joined Tony in an interview. It was very good. We're going to hear from him one more time in this video. As you can see, we're still in a very wobbly market, uh, but there is huge news for XDC. We're also going to have a peek at SBI and what they're up to. They're getting stronger than ever. Now, why do we pay so much attention to SBI? Because there is no other bank that uses XRP in more ways. Also, Bitcoin not performing as a hedge. Definitely not a hedge for inflation right now. So we'll take a look at who is or what is working as a hedge. There is an OG in the market also making a call. Are we in a bear market or a bull market? I'm going to play what he has to say. All right, everybody, let's go. So as you heard, the Howey test is the test for the SEC. Joseph Hall goes on to say that the SEC is going after market participants with regulation by enforcement for decades. Listen to this next short clip where he sees that the 1946 test is just not going to work for crypto. We can't rely on the SEC to get us out of this situation. He does go on to say in Tony's video that Congress needs to step in. I, I don't think um, uh, the anger of the XRP community is going to um, have uh, 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 any sort of deciding role in, 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 in what the judge determines in terms of whether or not XRP is a security. Um, you know, unfortunately, the judge is going to be applying the Howey test, you know, the test that was developed in 1946. Um, and, you know, it's pretty clear, I think, you know, <laughs> that the Howey test you know, is the test. Um, but that's a problem, you know, and that's, that's why I keep circling back to this, um, to this notion that, that, that unfortunately we can't rely on, 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 on the, the SEC or the securities laws, um, to get us out of this, um, cul-de-sac that we found ourselves. Let's shift gears a little bit and talk about something that is good news for a change. <laughs> the SEC versus Ripple. That just gets so heavy. Uh, I will continue to bring you any updates or changes, but let's talk about XDC. It's official. In the last hour, XDC has announced that they have a one-of-a-kind partnership. They have uh, sponsored the professional soccer team out of Washington, D.C., and they're also going to introduce a one-of-a-kind token. This is going to be a fan loyalty NFT and it will be on the XDC network. Let me play a video that was prepared for this announcement. Part of our mission is to grow the game of soccer both on and off the field, deliver experiences to our fans, and be accessible to our community. And when I think about that, and I look at the reflection of XDC Network, and as we've built this partnership together, they are about their community. And that reflection so much matches what we represent at DC United. The idea of, of seeing fans across the stadium uh, in, in the new kit, it's really special for us. From being one of the first clubs ever named in MLS to winning the first cup in MLS history, this partnership is the next level of that. The mantra behind uh, all are welcome, all are united uh, really cuts 
through to the core of who we really are. We get to work with organizations such as XDC Network to bring to life a whole new way to engage with our fans. The responsibility of having uh, the name of the network across the jersey of a major sports franchise uh, is really an example of how we operate to be really good citizens in the world and bring what we can bring to people for the betterment of the community. It's about the forward progress of sports, about the forward progress of the blockchain industry, um, and how we get to partner together to elevate one another. Vamos United! It looks like this XDC logo is the winning logo of the four designs that were proposed by the foundation. So I think um, we don't have to jump over the bridge anymore. I think for a lot of you that follow me on Twitter, you get that inside joke. Uh, okay, moving right along, we have a digital asset survey that was put together by State Street. And what I found interesting is that they are claiming that 23% of people who hold Bitcoin are doing so to hedge against inflation. But as we know, uh, that's not working. <laughs> Actually, gold hit a nine-month high as the crisis is deepening, and the demand for gold-backed stablecoins are rising as the geopolitical tensions accelerate. Uh, now I want to play for you the founder of Hyobi. Hyobi is an exchange that is, I think it's, it's one of the oldest exchanges in the space, and the founder is someone I've been following for a couple of years. He is just always very in tune with the market. And he's talking about here uh, something very important for everybody who is invested because are we in a bear market or are we in a bull market? So let me play this clip where he appeared on CNBC and listen to what he says. Did you hold your son in a model? In crypto, there is a cycle or a curse every four years, and this echoes with halving in Bitcoin. In 2012, half of Bitcoin was released into circulation, and in 2013, there was a bull market when the value rose from 20 USD to almost 2,000 USD in 2013. It was a bear market after that. Then, 2016 halving led to the second bull market in October 2017, when Bitcoin valued at almost $20,000. In 2020, the third halving led to the third bear market in 2021, which rose the price of Bitcoin from around 3,000 USD to 70,000 USD. If this cycle continues, we are now at the early stage of a bear market. It is really hard to predict exactly because there are so many factors which can affect market as well, such as geopolitical issues, including war, or recent COVID-19 also affecting the market. Following this cycle, it will be until end of 2024 to the beginning of 2025 that we can welcome the next bull market on Bitcoin. And if you do come to Japan and you go down south to Fukuoka, you can visit the Team Lab Forest. That is also sponsored by SBI. You can see their logo here. Uh, it's an art installation that is permanent. It does change out its themes. There is a Sakura or a cherry blossom theme starting in March, of course, because we're getting very close to the height of that season. So uh, this is a, a team lab. is something that's been rolled out around the globe. You might be lucky enough to have one in your city. If you do, I highly recommend. I've been to the one in Tokyo twice. They're really, really fun. All right. I want to show you here. This is uh, this is Watanabe-san. She is Naomi Watanabe, and she is now the new Adidas brand ambassador for Tokyo. And look what she did with her hair. It's fantastic. I love it. And if you are into Pokemon cards, we have a little bit of Mame Shishiki. That means bean knowledge. It's a little tiny knowledge. Uh, there's a what? There's a, a person on Twitter that always is tweeting out this Mame Shishiki. And if the Pokemon card you have has a Tani Sori, which means like a, a, a warp of a valley, you know how some of those cards get warped. This was the little bit of bean knowledge. Put it in an airtight container with a glass that has a moistened 
tissue and what happens is the cards will become completely flat. How about that, Mame Shishiki? All right, everybody, do take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.